Heading into the 2014-15 season, first-year girls soccer head coach Jeremy Nielsen had a mixed bag of players, 10 seniors on one hand and a mix of underclassmen on the other, which was a great opportunity for his program to grow for the future. As we're getting to the position of getting bigger and bigger classes in, uh, meshing old with young starts to allow us to build so that those kids know how to lead as they get older. And senior Madison Buck has taken the opportunity as a leader to pass along what it means to be a part of Orange Lutheran girls soccer. Dedicated to your team and to um, always give your best at all times and to play for God. Logan Karam, currently a junior, has also taken some knowledge from this senior class that she can use as a leader in the future. Half of them have been on varsity for the full four years and then the other half have only been here for maybe one or two years. So I think that they really have like, they've really changed their program and brought everyone together. As the season winds down, Nilsson feels like one of the most important lessons learned for the future has not been a vocal one, but one forged through adversity. Olu has seen numerous players suffer injuries this season. However, seeing those players play through some bumps and bruises, he believes is setting a tone for the future. And when they're playing through it, it's teaching those kids toughness, mental toughness, and that's what you want and th that's the best thing to see. And before the final whistle blows on senior captain Taylor Garris's career, she hopes to pass along her knowledge to help this program thrive in the future. But just being able to talk to them and pushing them and just uplifting their spirits and you know, just being there for them is a key part in leading the new generation while we're leaving. The Lancers start their final four game stretch on Thursday, January 29th, when they play Rosary at 3.15 p.m. For the Orange Luther Network, I'm Dave Cacciaputi. Be more, be a Lancer.